really struck about was how we don't necessarily think about the impact of how technology will affect us on an everyday level. I think often when we come to expos and conferences, we think about uh, electronics and technology as a means of consumption. So it's something that's here, it's a TV, it's a cell phone, maybe it's a cool drone for my kid. But as I think about the presentation uh, and more around how technology will influence the fabric of our lives, I realize that it's really affecting us. All the way from mobile first strategies and connectivity, where we cannot live without being connected to the internet at some point, all the way through to what will this mean for us as we move forward into the future? Stuff like how will technology change our education systems? How will it change the way that we interact with each other? Uh, all the way through from technology in a different form will allow us to live longer and longer and perhaps even say, well, technology will allow us to either change our lives for the better or for the worst. And therein lies some of the warning that as much as technology is amazing, it can also create both a dystopian, albeit a utopian uh, vision that we have. The dystopian view could definitely come through. Okay. And uh, if that's it, your the baby mm. yeah, being, uh, being born. Yes, if you look at it, how it is, you know, say irony behind it. So. Yeah. Yeah, and listen to innovation. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so there's a video that was shown around a baby being born, and from the time this child is born, uh, you know, it, it Googles it Googles how to cut umbilical cord, gets it into social media, takes pictures, filters on Instagram, maps, uploads, streams, etc. Um, the angle behind that is not, it's, it's a bit of a parody, but it's more around saying there's truth within this, and the truth is a new generation of uh, people being born today expect to be connected to the internet. Uh, even ourselves, as, as, as more mature, as a little bit older, we expect to be connected via Wi-Fi when we go to conferences. Our kids today go to the coast, they go to the beach, and they want to know where's the Wi-Fi password. So the consumer habits and the expectation of connectivity is something that is a reality today. And the impetus around us as business people or leaders is to say, well, how do we not only understand this, but understand how connectivity, the fundamental underlying platforms of a lot of the fourth industrial revolution stuff, allows us to unleash potential. And it's one of the basic building blocks for where we're going. I mean, in many respects, the United Nations already said that, right? Connectivity is a basic human right. So how do we ensure it's free and fast?